so um, I'm going to go through this problem really quick just to give you an overview of how it works. This is primarily a ge geometry problem because you're working with different angles and you're basically going to build a triangle out of this. I'm assuming this is from a section of um, section of pre-algebra that involves law of cosines, or sorry, pre-calculus that involves law of cosines and law of sines. So let's go over it here really quick. We have a row that is an angle of elevation of 18 degrees, so I can do mostly a horizontal line um, like that. And since it's an angle of elevation, that measure is measured from this point right here. So angle of elevations are always above the horizontal. Um, the sun, let's say that it is over here. And actually, we are told kind of where it would lo be located. I'll point that out in just a second. But if we put the sun over here, we can set up that into the diagram. It mentions that the there's a post in the road and that a 10 foot, casting a 10 foot shadow downhill. And you want to know how tall the post is. So the shadow is being cast downhill, which means the sun needs to be uphill from the post, which is why I drew it over here. Now, the post is going to be rising up out of the road like this. I'm assuming vertical as a straight line. Um, technically, it could be coming out in an angle like this. It's not really specified, but I'm going to assume it's vertical. But the general idea behind the problem wouldn't change much, depending on which orientation it is. Um, you would get slightly different answers, though. So I'm going to assume it's 10 feet, or it's, it's directly vertical. We don't know its height. So the sun then sends light towards the post, and it's going to just graze the top of it. And that's a little bit thicker than I wanted. Just a second. Post vertically like that. And you have the sun sending a light ray this way. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so this works a little bit better. Okay. So the light ray sends this sends in this direction and the shadow is actually the distance along the roadway here that extends behind the post where the light actually can't touch because no light from the sun is going to go through that post. It has to go above it. So your shadow is this section right here, which I will mark in blue just to be super clear about that with a blue dashed line. So your shadow is the blue. Now, a couple things we want to note here. We know that that distance is 10 feet. I'm going to label this as A with a slightly smaller thickness there. So that's A, we'll call this B and C if you're just thinking of a triangle that's forming out of this. So then we know A is 10 feet. We don't know uh, C and we don't know B. And B is what we are trying to find. We're gonna need the angles then to actually get an answer. So if you have an 18 degree incline above for the roadway, it mentions a 35 degree elevation, angle of elevation for the sun, which means this full angle is 35 degrees. So the angle from the black dash line to the yellow line is 35. The angle from the black dash to the blue dash is 18. So the blue dash line to the yellow is 35 minus 18. So this angle, which is opposite side B, would have to be angle B. Angle B, is equal to 17 degrees then. But we can also figure out a couple other angles. And we actually forget to figure out all three of them just using the geometry of this. This is a right angle if this post is vertical, so I can draw it straight up. And we know this angle is 18. If we draw it over here, that means this is 72, 90 minus 18. And this is 108. That is opposite of C, so you know that your angle C is 108 degrees. And you don't need it, but you could find angle A as well. And from there, it's a law of sines or law of cosines problem. So I would say law of sines would be best. Figure out what A is, and you can solve the problem doing that.